Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. I'm here to do another book review, book review in Jim Butcher's Dresden Files series. If you've been following the reviews, you know I started with the first three books, I jumped to book number 12, Changes, and now we're going to do book number 13, Ghost Story. I've read all these books before. I read them in order as they were published, as they came out. I've read them all once before. I am doing a reread for this review series. Because I want to prepare myself for when the new books come out this, uh, Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty destroys everything. I'll edit all of that out. I apologize for Miss Kitty. I don't know what. I don't know. Let's start over. Ghost story. Like I said, I've read all these books before. As they came out, I've read them all once. I'm rereading the series in preparation for the new books that are coming out this summer. I've started with the first three. I skipped the next eight. I moved to changes. Now I'm going to do... The reason I skipped the first, the middle eight is because I just don't have time to read them all before the new books come out. So I wanted to make sure that I had at least the last four in the series come out before, um, you know, book 16 or 17 or whatever that is. Miss Kitty has me befuddled. I'm flustered. I lost my whole place. I don't know. She destroys every video I do. Every one. If you've been following my videos, you know that she tips over at least five things per video. Some of my videos are haunted. If you watch my Stephen King videos, Pretty Miss Kitty's not even in those videos tipping stuff over. And weird shit is always happening in those videos. I'm telling you, my house is haunted. Anyway, ghost story. Let's talk about it. Now, I don't give spoilers out for the particular book that I am reviewing. So no spoilers for ghost story. However, I have to start out this book by giving a spoiler for changes. So if you have not read changes, don't watch this review because... You, I, I'm almost forced to give the spoiler to changes to even begin talking about this book. So, so turn the video off now if you have not read changes. If you've read changes, you know what's coming. At the end of changes, one of the most dramatic twists and turns in fantasy literature history happens. In changes, when Harry Dresden dies at the end of changes. Our main character, Harry Dresden, the supernatural wizard detective of all 12 books previous dies in book 12. So now people that were following the series were like, oh no, the series is over. Nope, not to be. We came out with book number 13 called Ghost Story, and you can tell by the title what this might be about. Harry Dresden is not dead. Our wizard detective is not dead. He is just in half-dead purgatory, the spirit world, as it were. He is alive, but a ghost, and he can... Nobody can see him. None of his friends can see him. Nothing to mean all of his powers are gone. Uh, everybody thinks he's dead in his life. All of his friends think he's dead. And he's been tasked with finding his killer. Because for important reasons, which I will not discuss. He has to go and find out. He has to do his Harry Dresden supernatural investigative stuff as a ghost to find his own killer. Now, ghost stories like this are not uncommon in the fantasy genre. Where... The main, a, main, a character's dead and he's a ghost and he has to still somehow communicate with his friends through some sort of ways. I mean, Saint Cam Catherine Kurtz did it in Saint Camber in the Camber of Caldy series. Man, that's an obscure series. I don't know why that one came to mind. <laughs> a 
one out of a hundred people watching this video are going to understand who Catherine Kurtz is in the Camper of Coldy series. But came to mind, it is. It is what it is. It's kind of similar. Uh, Saint Camber dies, and he has to talk to people in his realm as a dead guy. And he does it. He manages it. And it's a clever thing to do. You know, the sixth sense is kind of like that, too. Except they don't know they're dead. Harry Dresden knows he's dead. And he has to talk to all of his friends again, you know, like Lieutenant Murphy of the police department. And that's where kind of the charm of this novel lies, is, is him trying to communicate with his friends and let them know, I'm dead, but I'm not dead. And you got to kind of listen to me because I know some stuff. And you, you got to trust me that I'm me, that I'm really Harry Dresden, and, I'm, and that you're not just imagining kooky things. That's part of the charm of, the, of this book. This book is good. I, I liked the fact that we got reintroduced to Lieutenant Murphy, my favorite character, and Molly, my next favorite character. Uh, you know, Dresden's assistant. There's stuff with her that I won't get into. Uh, he's got to save her. He's got to figure out who killed him. And that's the basic plot. Not quite as epic in scope as Changes. I mean, my gosh. Changes went full blown out of this world epic at the end ghost story is a much more much 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 more dialed back and a lot of people don't like it for that reason but not me i loved it i liked the change of pace i really did not as epic as changes every bit is interesting i loved the fact that he's dead and he has to try to figure out how to talk two people as a dead person and get convince them that he's dead but not dead. I won't give away any of the spoilers or the endings or, men, or much more of the plot because that's the fun of reading is discovering it all on your own. Just know that it's a good entry into the Dresden Files. Book 13 is a great entry, ghost story. Not as epic or as powerful or as moving or as shocking as changes, but nevertheless still a solid, solid effort by Jim Butcher, and again, his writing style. Book 12 and book 13, compared to the first three books, massive difference in writing. Very much more accomplished writing, great writing. I love it. You know, I liked the first three books well enough if you watch those reviews. But skipping from book three to book 12, skipping eight books in the entire series, like I said last time, I noticed a big leap in quality of writing. That might, I might not have noticed had I read each book consecutively. Which I didn't notice, you know, when I was reading them the first time as they would come out. I would read them every year as they came out, you know, since the 2000s, early 2000s. Anyway, so far Miss Kitty, pretty Miss Kitty has not tipped over anything else. So we'll end the video. I will give this ghost story, book number 13 in the Dresden Files, a solid eight stars. So, we will do book number 14 and 15. I will review those in the next couple weeks, and then we will get to Jim Butcher's new book. So, excited about that. Ghost Story!